two sides with two different trajectories on this one. Yeah, they both wanted to be in a different place today, Dallin, but they're here now, and it's all about the present moment, making the best of it, and trying to cinch an opportunity to play for ninth place. This is where we are. Eight maximum points in the series on the line. The Samoan side stuck with talent, of course. And gold medalist in Cape Town was their best to bet when they beat New Zealand in the torrential downpour there, 12 points to seven. Referee for this one from New Zealand, Nick Hogan, has the whistle. Samoa yeah, two and two this weekend. Yeah. Uruguay three and one after beating Fiji 17-14 on day one. They have been outstanding, have lost out of sevens, new to the series, of course, and Samoa, we know what they can do. Been so consistent under their head coach, Brian Limar. <laughs> Kicking off from left to right in the ninth place semi-final. The other two sides are Wade or Kenya v Spain after this one. Samoa to receive on the right. Strength. Oh, the kickoff. Great bit of skill. Big ball over the top to Newell Avaya. Holds it up on the inside and it's good strong D early on from Uruguay. Yes, Samoa just not paying attention to that try line. They flirted way too close. The boys here. It's yeah. always recommended I'll to stay out of that in. five meter channel. Run the risk in, of going please. in to touch. Thank you. Melani Matava with the red headgear gets bundled into touch, so it gives Jose Irulegi, the 23 year the chance to attack. First possession here for the South American side. It did well to knock it down to their side, but then all sorts of pressure forces the knock on. Yeah, that was good pressure off of the, the line out. Samoa just wanting to make right of what they didn't do so well just a second ago. And we I'll all wear, we know that they've been really building and working on their set piece and, and make sure feet stay down. building momentum to get into their opposition 22. Been successful as of late. Five. Yeah, last week beat New Zealand in the pool stages, who eventually won the tournament in LA. Six. Finished fifth at Samoa. This weekend, though, New Zealand in the same pool, beat him 40 points to five. That's the nature of the sevens game from week to week. Matavao floats an awkward pass, it bounces, and it's okay for Samoa to attack with. And Maliko gets a bad pass. So Scanlon cleans up. Now to the near side. Afasua gives it. New Olivia keeps his feet. He's been big and strong and powerful. His late Tufia goes to the right hand side. Thank you. Manage. Beautiful footwork as they step up the middle. Manage over. Matavao links up well. Samoa down the chain they go. Big Afasua now attacks, gets the fend as well. The switch is there. Just too many players queuing up. And in the end, Tanu Nualavaya gets the first score for Manu Samoa. Yeah, Nualavaya with the big score, but it was really the crafty footwork and midfield penetration of his teammates to get him through to this point. Mateu, you see with the red scrum cap, with a nice run, and he move, moves that ball out to the left side of the field. Just, just good teamwork, good offloads. They avoided contact piece, and this is where they want to be. Powerful strike early on in the ninth place semi-final. Their fans delighted with their stock on day three. Milani Matabao, 11 tests for Samo in the 15 aside game. Push it to the side, 5-0. That's try number two on the weekend for Nui Levaya. The clever little kick is meant to go 10, falls short. I like that stare down. <laughs> Come. Come. Matavao has all the tricks. It doesn't work out on that occasion. Spotted the Uruguayan defense a bit deeper. It gives possession here to Los Terros Sevens. Many of these players playing at home. It is Stadio Turu and Montevideo for Penero. Set. Source, predominantly from the set piece. Scrum center gives him lots of options, but the big shove here from Samoa. Mataba now throws the dummy. To the right. New Levaya finds Maliko looking to attack. A wonderful balance. Runner straight through the middle. Vaapelo Maliko is one of the best. 
That man right there is creeping so deeply into my heart this weekend. He has been so impressive all over the ball in the ruck situation and showing his versatility even with carrying the ball. But look at the strength of the Samoan scrum. And I gotta give credit to their strength and conditioning coach, Jerry Walworth, legendary weightlifting coach who has transformed Samoan weightlifting, is now working with the Samoan team. And you can see it paying dividends right now. A beautiful finishing oh. run from Maliko, 24 years old, HSBC Dream Team. A third by the fans in Hong Kong in Cape Town. He gets his side second try. And they're up 12 zip. We're just over two to go. That's a much better kick. Looking for the challenge as it goes down towards the side. Pick up there from Plotier for Uruguay. Haven't had a lot of possession. Moves it to the left-hand side. Irulegi is there in support. Now they come down with small overlap, but they decide to cut back in to Uruguay through Ignacio Pachuolo. They've really been sublime addition to the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series. Diego Ardao, <laughs> captain, the gets pick. the penalty. Yeah, they have. The half pick. I mean, they just really turned things up yesterday. And it's funny, they have a great record. They're three and one in pool play, but just luck of the draw or lack of thereof has landed them into this place. Yeah, their pool was a complete nightmare. They beat Fiji 17-14 and Kenya 21-19. Lost to Great Britain, but because they lost 45 points to five so heavily, that points difference going against them. But they're in the top 11 sides looking to stay safe on the series. And it's been overthrown. Malani Matavao, first one to scoop it up, Maliko. Looking for the inside runner is there. Nueli Leitufia throws it and leaves it behind. Oh. <laughs> A little luck there for the Uruguayan defender, but just outstanding work. Matabaya just on fire. Again, that iconic red scrum cap is all over the pitch. Samoa doing a really superb job of linking up and keeping that continuity and support. Yeah, great scorer Crouch. of points as well. Matavao, Bye. approaching 300 nice for his country, Sit. former under-20 player as well for Sama. So across they whip with Leitufia, delayed switch. Big tackle coming as Matabao looks to secure. Afasua, Maliko releases early. New Olivia carries it in one hand towards the touchline. Samoa. So good to see them for their success in the last few seasons. I mean, very, very consistent. And big bump, Matavao takes them on. Smaller player, but not afraid to mix it up. He's quick there on the left. Finds Maliko again. There's space to operate here for Samoa. And it opens up yet again. His second score. And Samoa have their third in the first half. And just putting the finishing touches on some exquisite rugby. Great face play by Samoa to get into this area. But that man, Matabaya, really at the helm of that try. Moving it, getting into the scrum half position and chipping it out to Maliko, who goes in virtually untouched. Plays with the Tapasi Rugby Club. Has them with a strong start in this ninth semi-final. And at half time, it is Mano Samoa that have a strong lead here against Uruguay by 19 points to nothing. Controlled performance to start us off here, early doors for Bran Limar's side. And Fajr, they have so many weapons across the park. I mean, you can basically throw a dart in the dark and hit a, a big, you know, a threat for Samoa. They're all strong on the pitch, whether they're wearing, you know, one through seven, it doesn't matter. And they have that ability to strike from anywhere and put points on the board, make mathematical differences for their squad. Ah, ele aqui 
It's day three of the HSBC Canada Sevens and the Canadian side in the crowd with family and friends lapping up the support they've received here of three glorious days at BC Place. Good. And we continue the action, the ninth place semi-final. Second half, it's Samoa that lead 19 and nothing against Uruguay. Missed tackles have been the story for Lost Terra Sevens in the first seven minutes. They will face, one of these sides will face Kenya or Spain. They're coming up next. Samoa off the kickoff. Have possession. Matabao attacks yet again. So active in this contest. Quick pickup as a loop around the fringes. Paul Scanlan. Scanlan. Manage over. Is an electric threat with ball in hand. Yeah, and he makes his presence felt. And the slippery Scanlan himself strikes again for try number six on the weekend. Second one for this match. On second take, you see just. Good pressure by Samoa to really hinder that restart for Uruguay. And then they pick up the ball, and Scanlon just picks it up off the base of the rock and runs out a little bit to come back in. Oh, he's a danger player to watch Paul Scanlon working his way up to wow. 50 tries. Conversion unsuccessful from in front, but they have a big lead already. Wow, wow. There is. The try scoring machine, equal with Lancaster. Saw his Wapi just ahead by one. Thrown in field by Balthazar Amaya. Played in the Challenger Series in 2020 and 2022 for Uruguay. Successful there to get into this top tier on the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series. Uruguay now with a jump step on the outside. Side to finish 12th in Los Angeles. Tackle! Tackle! And beats South Africa, 10 points to five. And already this weekend, they've impressed. All their players line up on the right. Felipe Alcos Perez. The center in 15s. Oh, almost Scanlon. Arda has it, though. Now this space here. James McCullough. Looking for the sneaky offload. Finds Arda. Powers it back. With support there from Liechtenstein, known as Tito. Echeverry's on the field. Ball in one hand. Echeverry over the halfway line for Uruguay. It was Tomas Echeverri that scored a vital try against Fiji to beat them in this tournament. And now Alvarez, almost free. Basso gets flipped to the deck. But it's Uruguay now with possession. Their best attacking chance. Through the back flick again was McCubbin. Oh, Dow! Wonderful ball. Uruguay will score. Oh, no, they will not. They take that back. Tomas Echeverri, you owe me one. Try it for now. Yeah, he got a little overconfident with that one hand put down. And Samoa just came in and smacked it out of his hand. Nick? Yes. Got a decision for you. The ball has been lost forward by Uruguay. <laughs> Knock on, on scum to five, Samoa at five. And Thank I'm you. Telling you Dallin, Malico can no do try. it anywhere Knock on the pitch, whether he's with ball or without. He makes a difference, and you see him coming in, slapping the arm, and disrupting that try. Uh, Tomas Echeverri, it was the corner where he scored to beat Fiji. Heartbreak for him, trying to get his side back into this game. Crouch. That was the magic they needed. And you mentioned the abilities of Vapelo Maliko. Sit! And has been such a find for Samo, the 24-year-old, in his 19th event. Letufia finds a short runner. Big contact. Still there for Nueli Letufia, debuted in France in Toulouse at the event. Here's Maliko now. He's so good with that bump off. Uruguay, come up hard on D, huge shot, but falling off tackles. Late to fear yet again. 
Isolated though, so Uruguay oh. able to get over this one. Nice bit of play there from Arcos Perez. Grishak. He gets Vanish. tackled high in the 22 advantage for Uruguay. Their time is now. High tackle. Basso with a quick tap. Three on two on that side. And they put it through the hands. And Valentin Grishe will score for Uruguay with three to go. Yeah, that was easy work for Uruguay. They just took advantage of that ill-disciplined tackle by Samoa. And with the quick tap, moved it right. And that three on two often is unsuccessful for the defenders. And it, in this case, was so for Samoa. Grie in with five. They kept the pressure going. Did Uruguay. First try for them in this game. Kick goes over as well. 24 points to seven. And their coaches, Ivo De Gonchik and Santiago Alfaro. Come on. They've just been delighted by being at this high level, competing against these great sides. And they have had some unbelievable results. I know they find themselves here, of course, in the bottom eight. But don't forget, brand new to the series as a core side. And that coaching group has worked so hard over the years. And, and there is Ivo right now, De in Coach Uruguay to the victory at the Challenger Series oh, as well. You ready? Get in that core status. Come on. Uh, played one series event for Uruguay, for Hong Kong 2009. There's no better event to be at as well. Big restart. It does fall the way for Samoa. Two to Take play oh! in this ninth semi final. Eventually go through and win ninth place, and you win a maximum eight points on the series. Big step from Scanlon up the middle. Paul Scanlon skates through in Canada. A very, very special player. And Samoa finish off this one in style. And we talked about it earlier, Dallin, the threats across the pitch for Samoa. All they need to do is get half an inch to create havoc for the defense and we see it in Scanlon catches it and then sees an opportunity to step in off of that right foot exploits that midfield defense you see Uruguay reaching for the tackle but to no avail Scanlon gets in number seven wow kick from in front is a formality and Samoa stretch out their lead 31 points to seven right now. And there he goes to the top, Scanlon. Shakes saw his wapi tight with the Samoan speedster. Ball falls down and it's gonna be Uruguay with possession. And you're gonna miss some, but the credit to Samoa for just really challenging those restarts. They've retained, you know, one out of five. Crouch! That's not too bad. They've got to keep pressuring and get better and better. Yeah, a lot of teams either contest the restart or they go deep and trust their defense. Samoa can do a bit of both as they mix it up. Lost Terra Sevens. Just that lone try in this game. They can't get on the outside there as Ignacio Alvarez. Penalty goes to Samoa. So final say in this game. That's Barfoy Falaniku that lost his jersey number. Nice little move there from Lutero. Malo Lutero will go through here. A wonderful score for the 21-year-old. And Samoa finish it off. And not too shabby by Lutero. That mystical footwork. You see Samoa taking it off the quick tap, just shrugs off a defender and has the speed and acceleration to push through those two Uruguayan defenders. Finishing it off for Samoa. Thank you. Success for Samoa in this game. And they finish this one off against Uruguay and win 38 points to seven.